Hello again. Last week, or, or this week, I was uploading a video about how to remotely operate an FX9, provided that the FX9 was in the same network as the laptop from which I was going to control the, the camera. But in that case, what I did was to scroll the menus via a little cursor in my interface. In this, uh, in this case, what I'm going to do is to use a Venice camera and remotely operate, but accessing directly to the menus. For that, for, for this video, what I have here, all the, the equipment I have here is uh, I'm shooting with an FS7, whose signal is driven to a Sumo 19, just to, to see myself. Obviously, I have a Venice here connected via a cable to the router, uh, sorry, via an, an Ethernet cable to the router. The output via HDMI is driven to an Ninja Blade, which in loop through is also addressing the, the, the output to this monitor. And finally, I have a laptop connected to the same um, to the same network, whose signal is inputting into the Ninja V, and then the Ninja V returns or loops through the signal into this monitor. So that is basically what I have here. For knowing what I'm going to do physically over the, the Venice, I have a Z90 here, so I hope that it is enough, <laughs> let's say. So, uh, what I will need to know from the camera, in order to avoid touching it so that the camera operator or the assistant touch, uh, touch the camera as less time as possible, so reducing the risk, apart from having the sensor separated from the camera via the Rialto, uh, the only things we will need to do, apart of, uh, how to say, addressing or, or yeah, uh, putting all, all the clothes on the camera, full focus, matte box, etc. Obviously the lens, which I don't have here. But you will need two things. First one is the IP address in the network that has been assigned to the camera. And second one, the uh, user and password uh, for this camera. For that, you will see that I can go into the menu with a long uh, press. Okay, sorry. Long press. And now, under the technical menu, you will see a section which is called network. And then network, under network and the LAN option, you will see that now it is obviously in the network. And the address is 192.168, typical for, for a, so a local network, and then 139. Apart from that, what I will need to know is the authentication to access to the camera, which in this case is it's uh, admin, and I think I have also set admin, but uh, by default it will be uh, stored in my laptop because I have done this, uh, this before. So, with those two parameters, 139 and the admin and admin, I will try to log into the camera from the uh, web browser. So, it's 192.168.139. Uh, I have just done the Spanish version of this video, so now I am not uh, prompted prompted to input the admin and admin, but I would be if I hadn't done that before in, at this stage. And now, simply I can play with the parameters of the camera. I can select, cam instead of camera control, full menu, and you will see some basic settings. And for instance, I want to change the, the, the codec. Instead of XOCN LT, uh, take a look on the, on the monitor output, and I want to set XOCN XT and now it has been changed. Or for instance maybe I want to change the, uh, the scanning area in the sensor instead of being 4K 6x5 so anamorphic I want to have the full frame anamorphic mode. So I can do it from here now you will see that it has been uh, updated here. So you can do that with most of the menus uh, of the camera so that will help a lot to to avoid health problems or transmission problems be between the, the operator, the DOP, the, the, the assistant, the, the actors. So this is simply something uh, very, very easy, very quick, as you can, as you can see uh, that I wanted to explain uh, about the camera and I hope it was useful for you. So thank you very much for, for watching.